Hey, this is John Wee with uh, Craig All. For now, we're seeing the uh, demo of the basis technologies. We have the Wi-Fi uh, in the conference. A little slow, but I think it's good enough for us to see what you're doing. So show us what we got. Sure, thank you. Um, so what we're looking at here is um, uh, an app that we built called Predictive Customer Insight. Uh, the app is, what it's really doing is showing um, a list of customers in a certain region on the map. Then you can zoom in and then you zoom out. And uh, behind the scenes, we're, we've already rated every customer effectively from zero to 100 with regards to their satisfaction level. Um, other use cases are things like likelihood of leaving to go to a competitor if it's a deregulated scenario. But equally, um, it could be propensity to, to complain, propensity to, propensity to call, uh, propensity to default or to buy. So these are the use cases, and this particular one's around dissatisfaction or satisfaction levels. So what we do is we rate every customer. We can see in the region that we're currently looking at the number of customers that have that dissatisfaction level. So what we can do is we can alter the dissatisfaction level. We can just uh, sort of say, show me everything above, say, 40% dissatisfaction. It recalculates everything on the fly, goes back to HANA, pulls the data back out, and then displays it, tells you the number of customers in that region that you're looking at and then shows you the top 30 customers that have the most, you know, highest dissatisfaction level. What we can then do is we can then drill down and we can select a particular customer, uh, whether it's on the map here or, or on the left there, um, and we can just drill in and actually uh, get some further details as to how we calculated the dissatisfaction level. So this is the data that's actually looking at um, past historical issues that are on the account or have been on the account. Um, and using all that trending data, and then uh, using the patterns that are found to then apply those patterns to the existing customer base. So as you look at this drill down, what pops out in your mind? So the sort of stuff here is we can immediately see on this particular customer, you know, 90% risk of leaving. Um, That's not good. No, <laughs> it's not good indeed. Uh, the point is, is that what we're seeing as well is how many open pieces of work in the, in the underlying SAP systems there are things like work items, um, CRM activities, that sort of stuff. Equally, we can see the open issues that are on the account, however many there might be. So I better get on that open issue right Exa away. Exactly. Um, and you can also see all the active business processes that are running. And then in terms of working out that's 90%, we're not only using this sort of data um, and historical issues that were on the account that have subsequently been resolved, but we're also looking at um, segmentation of the customer as well. So uh, how long we've had them for, um, you know, their, their, their location, likelihood of uh, le leaving or, or whatever it might be, the accuracy that we've built them to, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then what we're able to do is actually drill down in even further and we actually look at the open issues on that account as well. So click on open issues and, and we can then actually see uh, the open issue that's there. This is the one we saw on the previous screen. Now we're dr drilling into one like that. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. You, can, you can choose another customer and you can then drill on that one and maybe see if there's some other issues. Okay. Any speed delays you just saw? That wasn't Hana. That was the ho that was the hotel internet. Correct. So as we as we kind of as we kind of um, drill out here, and we, and we zoom out, for example, and it recalculates everything. So it's going to recalculate this number of customers that we're looking at, show you the top thirty, pop them on the map. That that's not that's a latency on the network. It's a latency going through the SAP uh, BSP page that we have, and then it's a and then the actual call into Hana to get the data out. We're talking milliseconds. Thanks, Greg. Appreciate it. Sure.